Hey guys, this is Kitsy Higgins, and I help people succeed with the help of their deceased loved ones. So in this video today, I wanted to talk about the importance of putting yourself in other people's shoes. So another term for this is being empathetic. I know, long, bizarre word. Uh, comment down below if you do a good job of this. If you don't, comment down below if you are extremely sensitive like I am. People's actions really hurt me. Uh, I'm not used to having pain um, when people do things that I consider hurtful. Um, about, ah, golly, about five or ten years ago, I really started to set the intention of working through, uh, well, learning to deal with the ways on how people hurt others and the ways how people have hurt me. And my example is, let's say for instance, you have plans with a friend. Um, and that friend cancels at the last minute, cancels her plans, you're all excited about seeing them. You may have expectations of, of hanging out with them, of how it's gonna go, and it being a fun time. And then all of a sudden, they cancel with you. And you get really disappointed, and you, may stop being friends with this person because they have hurt you. So if this is you, or if there's a situation like this, trust me, I've been there. And I want to let you know that uh, there is another way of looking at the situation. And that is to put yourself in their shoes. So one way to look at it is, okay, this person has hurt me. Uh, maybe they're going through their own battles and or they're going through their own stuff and they don't realize that that action hurt me. Um, and then allowing yourself to not let that pain affect that relationship or friendship so that you're able to still have that friendship. The other option is to, uh, so that's putting yourself in their shoes and that they're dealing with their own stuff and that I just have to be okay with that person having those issues because um, they have a life too and they're having difficulties possibly too. The other way is, so looking at that friendship situation is, you know, here you have that plans with a friend and then they cancel on you. So putting yourself in their shoes and if you were that friend canceling on a friend that you liked, why would you do that? It could be because of your tight on money. It could be because you have anxiety. It could be because you just got into an, an argument with someone and getting to spend time with a friend, it's hard to switch from that fight to spending time with that person and being joyful. So they just, so you would just cancel. So when you, look at that friendship and you say, wow, she really, really hurt me by not showing through on that plan that we had. That, to me, that feels extremely painful. That, you know, just looking at it like that. But when you flip it and you put yourself in their shoes or you become empathetic to a possible situation that they're dealing with, and you realize to yourself, okay, it could be because of money, it could be because they're, they have anxiety, it could be because something else is happening in their life, then it feels completely different. Then it's like looking at it as, okay, so it's not as much pain. It doesn't feel as much pain. Um, I also believe too that having empath uh, being empathetic to someone is a first step to forgiveness so if you have a hard time putting yourself in other people's shoes you're going to have a hard time forgiving others 
and you're gonna have a hard time uh, forgiving just situations in general. So being empathetic helps you create forgiveness. I know when I um, was not empathetic to others, um, I had a hard time forgiving others. And I know that having more empathy for other people and what they were dealing with allowed me to have forgiveness for others more easier and faster. So being empathetic to people helps you work through forgiveness faster uh, and or easier. So the importance of putting yourself in other people's shoes. Try this. See if there's a part of your life, if there's a place in your life, or for me, many places in my life, where people have hurt you. And um, rather than looking at it as them hurting you, and it was just that, putting yourself in their position and seeing to yourself, okay, why would I have done what they did? And then when you look at it that way, it shifts the energy. It kind of gets an explanation a little bit out of someone's behavior. You know, I, I, I personally believe that we are not out to hurt others. And I believe that society in general and um, the population in general is kind and generous and loving. Um, and sometimes our actions may come off abrupt and or painful. Um, but it's one of those things of, um, if you're looking at it as they're not trying to be mean, and they're loving, that kind of puts it into a perspective of they're dealing with their own stuff. So um, just respect others. And I understand it hurts when people do something mean and it hurts when things happen, but um, putting yourself in their shoes will drastically switch that hurt from realizing um, you know, kind of the bigger picture of what's happening in that friendship and or situation that happens. So I leave that with you. Um, senior life where you may have um, not put yourself in that other person's shoes and um, see how that relationship and or uh, situation can switch and or switch the energy by being more empathetic. So I leave that with you. Um, and... Uh, Look forward to hearing in your comments how you apply that in, in a specific situation or relationship and seeing well, where that may come from. Um, as always, if you are interested in shifting your life, taking leaps and bounds, taking that quantum shift in your relationship and life, uh, please reach out to me. I do offer uh, consultations uh, free to see if we're a good match, to see if you're totally ready to jump in, open arm, to change your life. And uh, so reach out. I've been doing this work, oh my golly, since 2006. So um, almost 13 years now I've been working on myself, healing myself, and really uh, releasing my ego, releasing my pains and limited belief, and switching it to a more positive. So, um, so yeah, if you can save time and not have to take 13 years to get to where I'm at and you want to get to where I'm at today, that's a way to do it. So uh, whether if it's for business or life, uh, so free consultation. Uh, and uh, yeah, thank you so much for tuning in and I wish you a blessed life. Bye.